deeper and deeper into this arc we go. This one's called Path of Revenge, comma, the Path of Atonement. Mmm. So just a little pre-warning for this episode. I'm super excited for it, though. I'm very excited, especially because we got the rest of the Black Bulls all working together in our moving Megazord base with Henry and everything, going towards the capital to help out in any way we can. Um, we got chaos and everything. Like, literally, I just need updates from everyone. I need to know how the Crimson Lions are doing, the Golden Dawn, what's going on with them. They're all transformed. What kind of havoc are they wreaking? You know, like, there's so much shit that's going on that this arc could easily last 15, 20, 30 more episodes. I really have no idea. I'm excited for it. I say we jump into it. Real quickly, I just want to let you guys know that I am very grateful that this episode of Black Clover is actually sponsored by Boxu. Do you guys want free tickets to Japan? Use my code DAPPER10 or my link in the description to become eligible to win the giveaway by subscribing to Boxu. My code will get you 10% off your subscription. Don't miss out on this unique opportunity available for anyone who subscribes until December 31st. All of the terms and conditions as well as any other entry methods are going to be in the description down below, so make sure you guys check that out. Boksu makes such a perfect and memorable gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture, especially during a time where people aren't able to travel as easily as they would like. And actually, not only would you be gifting them Boksu, which is already awesome, but also you would technically be gifting them the chance to win free tickets to Japan because Boksu is having a giveaway. They will be picking one lucky winner to win a set of free tickets, and anyone who has subscribed before December 31st is automatically entered. Like I said earlier, all the terms and conditions and all other methods of entry will be in the description down below. But like always, if you guys don't take my word for how amazing this company and the snacks and the culture of Japan is, take my friend's words for it. Without them knowing what they are, I had a few of my friends try a couple of snacks out of my Boxu subscription and tell me their first thoughts, and these are what they had to say. Hmm. This one's actually fire. It, this one's good. I like this one. Yeah, this one's really good. You like that oh, I like this one. The, the, the soft cookie with the, the apple, mm -hmm. it's really good. Crackers are not too thick. Yeah, yeah. The apples aren't too strong. You gotta have a good wafer. It ties the whole thing together. Okay, yeah, not a matcha fan, but I like this. If it was in like a Costco fucking supply, I would eat the whole thing. It definitely is some crunch yeah. taste. That's that's funny that you said that though, because that's exactly what I that's what I exactly what I said it tastes like. Because it's uh, it's a matcha azuki crunch. So I said it, you know matcha like the green tea flavor. So uh, I said it literally Ooh. tastes like a matcha crunch bar. See myself getting a few of these little crunch bars, matcha, and just Bro, munching like on these, you know what I'm saying? Damn, me six of those. That was good. So once again, use my code DAPPER10 or use my link in the description. And thank you again for Boxu for sponsoring this video. Back at it with the Black Clover. Don't forget, if you guys want early access or full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Links are down in the description, like always, for you guys. Don't forget to support the channel by leaving a like and commenting down below. It really does help me with that YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, y'all. Let's hop into this. Black Clover, episode 106, Path of Revenge. Path of Atonement. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Right back into the good things. Right back into the good stuff. We got everyone eating, replenishing as much <laughs> magic as they can. That actually works great for Henry. All right, we got a little side quest. We got to help out Hakairo, the greatest city in the common realm. They destroyed this bitch. Zerks? We got the real Zerks causing havoc. Nah, we need Zora to come over here and fuck him up. <laughs> Again. Stone magic ground wall. Wow, that is quite the ground wall. He literally can make a border by himself. You think that's stopping us though? We're the raging bull. Recombination magic. Henry's about to go ham. Combat style. Gonna have some twirling fists again. Oh, with the thread magic in the windows. That's clutch. Cotton magic to catch him. 
I, I love Gray's magical conversion. Ice to water, stone to sand. That's clutch. Ooh. Thank you for letting me know it's pronounced Rouge. And especially with its main directive, just being protecting and helping the Black Bulls. That's a such a benefit that we have. Oh my God, cannon fire mode. Oh, with Magna as the ammo. That's so fucking genius. And we got Gordon doing it as well. <laughs> no, this is dope. I love the teamwork. Okay. The last one that we need. Anti-magic to get rid of that. And then the other one. Turn you guys back to normal. No, honestly, the teamwork with Henry, Charmy, Vanessa, everybody in there. I loved that so much. William. I could see how having someone to relate to in that kind of situation would definitely help you, you know, survive that. Started to have the same dream. And he only connected with Patrick even more because of that dream. Yep. I understand that feeling. And he was a young and you know. The legend himself. That's when we saw the flashback from Patrick's point of view. Mm, he just awakened out of nowhere when William was 16. It's crazy hearing this story from William. We haven't seen William in episodes. That little cut with the crack in between. Mm-hmm. And Patry won. And you felt bad. You cried, yeah. That was a very sad moment. Oh, my lord. A deep, endless sleep. He said goodbye. Is that the end of William? Was that the last we see of him? God damn it. I know I had a very love-hate relationship with William, but I liked him. We got Licked, Raya, and the rest of the OP squad, and now we got Patrick joining him. With the dead Radez, Valtos, and Sally. Did he unlock a new spell? This was the perfection of true Wraith magic. So Radez is back? He was able to literally save their souls and bring them back. The ultimate Wraith magic. Hmm. Speak of the devil, here comes Valtos. Damn, they look kind of fucking twisted. We could take the whole I mean that makes sense with Sally's dark magic items, but oh my god. Let's do it. I never thought I'd be teaming up with y'all. Yeah. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, somewhat. It is not a bad deal. Yeah. 
That's true. That's a valid point. We're not here to fight Lick. We're here to save the people. And now he finally gets his chance to get some revenge on the attacks he did earlier. Oh my god, my back. My man is the grapple lord. He needs to be a fucking MMA fighter. He's just heartbroken. He was truly happy with Patry. That's why she looks like that. She's like Velma. Ah, uh, that's a way to get Sally in there. I don't know if Asa's... Nothing that hurt. Okay, I was about to say, I don't know if Asa's actually going to live up to that promise, though, but he will. He'll do whatever he needs to. Never would I have ever guessed... I'm going to pause it real quick for this, just because I want to get this off my chest. Never would I have ever guessed, and Black Clover does this all the time with these little twists, that... Char like a few episodes ago <laughs> when we're just barely escaping licked and that crazy fight a few episodes later and never would have ever guessed that charmy would be making the eye of the midnight sun some food to help them recover their magic and we're somehow turning them into our i just i mean hey like i said the enemy of my enemy is my friend but oh right this is like i'm hungry Come on, you feel like saving people yet? Look at all this yummy food. Come on. Oh, my magic's recovering. It tastes so good. Oh, I know you want some of this yummy food, Radez. Come on. Well, this worked out. Okay, talk about an episode. God damn. Well, that was a fantastic episode. <laughs> it's so interesting how they can do this in Black Clover, where it definitely is still the dead center of the arc. Like, it's still the climax, but they're still building up more and more and more. They can still set up new team ups, new aspects, new powers, new motivations, new plots and stuff like that, even in the midst of a really great arc, you know, like I loved at the beginning of this, how we saw from William's point of view, why he made the decisions he made. He had met Patry or at least known of his existence way before Julius. And so because of that and his relatability to Patry, he felt like he just, he needed to protect Patry. And that makes a lot of sense, especially with William's character. Like, William, like I said, I have a love-hate relationship with, but I can't really blame him at all with the hard life that he had and the hard decisions he had to make. He truthfully could not decide between Julius or Patry. So he said, I will let you guys decide, and I will be happy either way. Both of you are, are the biggest people in my life. And so he was very sad that Julius died, obviously, but he did say congratulations, Patry. And he said, like, this is goodbye. And Patrick said that he's in, like, an endless sleep. I hope that's just, like, I don't know. Because is there a chance he'll ever come back? I would not be surprised if that was the end of William. William Vengeance. Which, like I said, I had a love-hate with him. But, like, seeing him gone. I don't want to see him gone. That's my dude. All those dope flashbacks with him and Yami, man. I, come on. But... Like I said, great episode, great team up. Sally, Valtos, and Radez. Radez's magic when a time of need came in clutch, literally saved their souls and their lives. But I was not expecting this at all. We're about to go to the fucking capital together. The next episode is called The Battle for Clover Castle, so I am very much looking forward to that. I say I, I gotta watch it right now, man. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes, don't forget to check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapper Darius. Much, much appreciated, y'all. I will see you in this next episode. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Be safe out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.